In today's video, I am going to be talking about bagging and tagging. Would it stand out? Would it make you your company look a little better? Stay tuned right after this intro. All right, guys. So, bottom line, there's a certain equipment that you might need for bagging and tagging and products, I should say. Um, first things first, you need your, you know, apparel, whatever you print it on. Uh, the second thing that you will need is, uh, some wash instructions and stuff like that. I usually use about two or three kinds. Um, if you want, you can either buy them, you know, on Amazon or you can make them yourself. It's very simple or anybody who you know, can print out there or you want to use a bigger company online, you can download whatever you want, your personal uh, wash instructions, and you can get the, it's the same size as a business card. So it's very simple. Anybody can do it. You can get a box of, you know, a hundred, you can get to a box of 500, or you can go on Amazon and get, you know, from 30 to 50 to a hundred, it, like I said, it's very simple, cheap. You know, you just incorporate it into your, um, your, your pretty much your price of your shirt because that is a cost that you're going to be doing, and a cost that you have to give off to the to the customer. Uh, second thing you're going to need is a tagger gun. Now you can get these on Amazon. You can get these at Michaels. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. There's a lot of places where you can get this from. Comes with different needles. Uh, everything that you need for tagging is 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 not that expensive. Maybe anywhere from eight to ten dollars. Um, for me, it, it's it's a win-win because they only serve one purpose and one purpose only, and it's to tag your shirt. Whether you're putting your logo or your business card on a shirt, whatever the case may be, definitely need one. So pick one up. Uh, third thing you're going to need is, of course, your bags. Now, these are a 13 by 19 poly. Let me get you the correct uh, wording for them. Yeah, I think it's just a, a cellophane. This is actually a cellophane bag. Um, it's got the glue strip at the top that's resealable. You can take it off if you want to take the garment back out and do whatever you got to do. Um, there's a lot of companies out there that make it, so I'm not going to go into it, but you can shop around. Uh, some people are a little bit more pricey than others, but um, for sweatshirts, I use a 13 by 19. For regular t shirts and stuff like that, I would use maybe, I think it's a uh, a nine by nine by 12, I think it is. Um, but there's all different sizes. You pick the size that you think you need for your garment and it'll, it'll work just as well. Uh, for some of the hoodies, I do have the same thing, a 13 by 19. I use a Ziploc bag. Uh, for me, it depends on the customer. If I know that where it's going is going to be either cold or snowing and stuff like that. I would put it in a Ziploc bag because these cellophane bags do have openings in it. And just in case the box does get wet, I don't want my garment to be ruined. So I use a Ziploc bags depending on the area that it's going to. So you make your choice, your decision, or you can just put it on a in one box and just wrap it up with some a plastic bag, clear plastic bag, whatever the case may be. That's what most printers do. So it's up to you. I like to be presentable. This is the way I do my things. So this is just my advice on how I do it. Everybody's got their own ways. So pretty much grab your tags, grab your tags, whichever ones you want to go through. Oh, one more product that you're going to need is size labels. Uh, I pick these up on Amazon. I pick them up in, in, a, in a big set. It goes from extra small all the way up to about 2X or 3X. Um, it lasts a very long time, these rolls. And maybe out of the year, I might have to buy three of them. Well, three sets. 
it lasts a very long time. I think each one of these rows might have maybe a thousand in them or, or better. So it comes in handy. It's cheap to get, get as well. Like everything I'm putting in here is all cheaply priced and anybody can do it. I mean, it, if you want to make your stuff presentable, that's the way you would do. So once I printed the shirt, this is the way I would tag it. And it looks presentable to me. It looks like if you're going straight into, you know, a clothing store where it's hanging up on a rack or whatever the case may be, you know, I put it in the armpit. A lot of people will put it on the tag itself. I just choose the armpit because I think it's a lot easier. And the only problem is that if that person that's taking it apart pulls it too hard, you might rip a hole underneath the armpit. But I, I think most of the customers that I deal with, they, they know how to pull it off pretty easy. And they're not going to rip a big hole, but that's just my place. I think that's the strongest spot. I don't like to do it in the neck because if somebody pulls it from the neck seam, then we got issues. You can see that a lot more. So let me get into the bagging. This one I already did. So pretty much I would just uh, peel off and then I'll do one more so that way you guys can see. I already tagged all the shirts so they're, they're ready to go. Um, I would let it sit down to the bottom, cross it over, and that's it. The label's already on there. So I'll do one more so that way you guys can actually see what I do. Take it off the hanger. Now, it does take some time, guys. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, it, it's going to be so quick. But no, it's going to take some time folding it. I do have a folder machine that's down there. But because the sweatshirts are a little bit bigger, you want to, I fold them by hand. Plus the 13 by 19, I can pretty much just get in there. I'll fold the bottom up. I'll go halfway in. I'll fold down. Same thing with the other side. I'll go halfway in. I'll fold down, making sure that everything is inside where I want it to be at. So nothing sticking out. Uh, from here, I will put the tag up. From here, I will fold in half. And then I will get a lint roller and just lint roll over it just to get, you know, most of that lint off. So when they look through the bag, it doesn't look all bad. Flip it over. This is a small size. So again, I'll lint roll the, the front of the shirt. I'll grab my cellophane bag and I would just open it up a little bit at the bottom. And that's pretty much it, man. I mean, like I said, this is a small, let it fall to the bottom. If you want, you can double check before you close the bag just to make sure that it is a small. It's a small. So once you get it down, peel off the strip at the top. It's that easy. I just flatten it down a little bit so that way it gets some of the air out. I mean, you don't have to. Once I flip it over, I would get the size small. Hold that thought. Size small. So I'll take it off this row, put it on there, bang. So now pretty much you're bagged and tagged, you know, either side. From here, it would just go in a box and be shipped to wherever you want. That's as simple as it is. It looks presentable. I mean, I could show you, you know, if I open up a box and I see it like this, I will be happy because the person that's selling me these, these shirts really care about their products and they want their products to come out as nicely as possible. So guys, this was the short video, how I do it. I will do all of them like that. I will box it up and I will ship it out to my customers. Very simple, very cheap, 
and very fast. Guys, on the next one, please like and subscribe and make sure you follow me for more tips and stuff that I'm doing. On, on this note, God bless. Peace.